what exactly is happening, uh, how much of a difference is it making, and, and how much of a game changer is it relative to what we thought we were going to be handed in this uh, god-awful situation? Well, like, it, it was start just a uh, like, attempt to help somehow, because, like, many of the people who are IT guys, like, are not fighting, like, they, like, probably feel helpless. So they just try to do something that they are used to doing their best in. So, like, many of the groups start to gather some donation in the crypto in those segments that are skilled in. And, uh, yeah, you're right, so far it's close to... Uh, 100 mils totally uh, from the, all the coins and chase are gathered together. The conflict in Ukraine is being called the first crypto war. And while some people in power are trying to spread FUD around Russia adopting Bitcoin, it's clear that crypto is doing good for the good guys. Hundreds of millions in relief aid has been going to Ukraine, and a lot of it is coming through DAOs like this one based on Solana, called Aid for Ukraine DAO. Was this, is this a heavy lift, or is this something that is, uh, that is completely organic and, and surprising even the industry and yourselves? Yeah, you know, this is in some ways the kind of transaction that blockchain was built to facilitate. So if you look at something like the Aid for Ukraine project, um, it's, a, it's a DAO, so that means it's a, it's a wallet and an account controlled by five people, Everstake and Sergey is one of them, and anyone around the world can donate to that. This is an incredible moment for crypto. Not only is this the perfect use case for donations, having a public ledger showing when and where the money is going, but also you have the improved security of blockchain, making the transaction secure and resistant to attacks from Russia, who are currently waging heavy cyber warfare against the Ukrainian monetary system. How, how are people feeling this on the ground? Uh, why we're involved here, the they big guys like FTX and Central Bank, because only Central Bank can uh, transact in the USDT. And uh, that's why, like, the Ministry of Defense and the Ministry of the Social Politic are open their accounts, like donation accounts in the Central Bank. And FTX help us to, like, transfer this crypto to, directly to those accounts. So centralized exchanges like FTX are helping central banks distribute funds and convert them to fiat. That makes sense for the short term, but obviously a better solution would be to just have crypto be the reserve currency. A lot of governments are taking note of this and it's making the case for a global Bitcoin standard look all that more attractive. Comment below with your favorite world reserve crypto, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That's all I got, be blessed, Bitboy out.